Bryce asked, asked a really great question. What's an effective outbound sales strategy in the mid-market to enterprise space, particularly with large complex solutions? When we come to mid-market and enterprise spaces, often there's multiple decision makers. Getting to them can sometimes be difficult because of their seniority. We've got cross-department challenges, all sorts of things. What actually needs to happen is we have to have an elevated level of thinking in terms of our approach. You know, simply just hitting the blower and getting on the phone and trying to get through to the decision maker, you actually want to change and switch out your thinking from, I need to find a decision maker to I need to find a champion within the organization. Efforts around the way in which you connect with people on LinkedIn, your efforts around the way in which you find people that are experiencing the problems that your solution actually solves at a grassroots level, you know, having conversations with them about the real challenges, finding them as a way of being able to champion you within the organization and how can they connect to you with the people that can really make the difference and then going in there and being the trusted advisor. And so traditional methods of that business interaction interruption from a cold call or from, you know, lots of EDMs going to someone talking about problems. Don't get me wrong, those strategies are still good strategies. I think, you know, the larger the deal, the longer the sales cycle, we need to get creative. And this is why we need to elevate our thinking and take the conversation that little bit deeper. We want to find a champion within the organization. We, we've got to elevate our thinking from looking from a single decision maker or looking from a single point entry for an appointment and actually start to look at who is my champion within the organization? Who can I connect with that's really really experiencing these challenges and build some case studies around that and really, you know, going out and looking at the trusted advisor relationship in terms of how to make that real impact.